Hi, this is Nelson Ranch. So, uh, now I want to actually talk a little bit about the uh, third anniversary and the upcoming new scenario. Uh, the, uh, the devs have actually released another letter as well, so there's like a whole bunch of things happening. Um, and I think, I guess, the most important, you know, uh, it was also the Paka Live, so that's also important. But I think the most important thing uh, that people have right now is, you know, uh, do you want to pull the current gacha uh, to get these cards, or do you want to wait for the next uh, update that's going to happen tomorrow? Uh, so I'm going to, you know, make a short video and then put that up. My recommendation is that unless you have like ridiculous amounts of jewels, you should probably pull the next one. <laughs> Um, it looks like the devs are not going to do the same mistake that they did last time, which was to uh, basically give out a uh, very powerful card and then wait a month and then give out another powerful card, that's Scenario Link. Uh, last year, that's exactly what they did. They sent out the uh, uh, intelligence uh, card of Measure Lamone, and then uh, a little later, they then put out the Scenario Link, which was the Three Goddess card. And that just drove people, a lot of people bonkers. Um, but this was because uh, in the first anniversary, um, they did a system in which they just had only one SSR and I think four SR cards. So they basically followed in the same footsteps. Now, like you can't do that kind of crap, basically. <laughs> uh, because initially, uh, last year, it said that uh, there was no scenario link. And then one month later, they said, yeah, there's a scenario link. It's the three goddess cards. It's like, all right. So this time around, uh, tomorrow where the new gacha comes out, uh, it's going to have both a powerful SSR card, this time it's going to be the Guts card of Orfever, uh, and it's going to have a Scenario Link uh, friend card. So, uh, since they're not going to pull the kind of crap that they did last time, I would highly recommend that people actually pull uh, the gacha for tomorrow and after. Uh, especially because they're going to give you 120 free support card pulls. So you only need 80 pulls to get to one ceiling. Um, and then, uh, if necessary, uh, you can then go the next ceiling. And with two ceilings, uh, you should be able to get one or the other to max. And if you're lucky, you should be able to get both to max. I think it's like a 50% chance that you get both of them to max. Uh, and even if you can't get both of them to max, uh, uh, if you've been playing the game a while and you have been using them, you, know, you should have a uh, crystal uh, to actually uh, help you to, you know, get these cards to max. So that's the reason why I would recommend that. Uh, because what this means is that the new or favorite card uh, basically is uh, designed in such a way that it kind of punishes you if you use three cards of the same type. So no more using like three speed cards. Uh, they're, they're really going to try and force you to only use two speed cards, um, and then you know or favor which you're going to pull, um, and the friend card. So that's already four, uh, and you're going to need a intelligence card to actually like jack up intelligence. So that's actually five, um, and so you can do you know two speed, one guts, one friend, one intelligence, or two intelligence. Um, and, you know, the sixth card is going to be an intelligence card or a uh, another guts card or a power card or a, uh, what do you call it, uh, stamina card. It's just going to depend on the race. Now, the upcoming championship meeting in April is a uh, mile. So, you know, it probably makes sense to basically use a guts card. So that's why people might be tempted to pull this uh, support card gotcha because you can get this now um, I understand but if you stop for a moment and think about it if you have pulled uh, if you have you know cards where you have two speed cards uh, one uh, what do you call it uh, intelligence card uh, and then if you pull both uh, uh, or favor and the friend card that's actually five already and you only need one more card which you can borrow right and so if that is the case you can always just borrow you know gold city or uh, ks miracle and because you can borrow uh, you don't have to pull this is the way i i see it so i have already 
uh, you know, did dailies and uh, I used the tickets to pull, so I'm actually already at 38 already. Uh, but I'm probably going to stop. I might actually, like, you know, pull once to get to like 50 uh, because I haven't gotten a single one of these. Uh, if you actually look in the here, uh, these are the two cards I don't have. I have all the <laughs> so, uh I might pull this just because I might want like a base card, but uh, uh, I'm I'm probably not. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm probably not going to pull. So uh, I don't recommend it. Now I will pull the uh, Orfever card and the uh, uh, friend card. Uh, I think it's Suzuki Ryoka is the is the girl's name. Um, and so that's uh, 123 pulls plus 80, uh, uh, you know, uh, pulls. I, I think uh, if I be, if I do uh, uh, daily pulls, then uh, I'll easily get uh, 10, and with these tickets, I can probably get 20. So I'm probably gonna get like 140 pulls. <clears throat> so I only need 60 pulls from the free gacha here, uh, and it's. 60 times 150, because each of these is 150. Uh, each of these is 150. So 60 times 150, uh, meaning uh, 9,000, I believe. Right? Uh, yeah, I only need 9,000 jewels. So I'll I'll have 20,000 jewels left over. Uh, now we also know that the devs are going to give us as a bonus, as a present. Um, 6,500 jewels plus another 1,500 jewels, so that's uh, 8,000 jewels off the bat. <laughs> the devs are going to give us 8,000 jewels, and over the course of uh, you know 10 days, uh, you can get uh, uh, I think you can get uh, 500 jewels um, and another. 500 jewels from uh, the uh, uh, from the stadium uh, and you know the dailies. So I'm actually going to be able to get to. Uh, oops. I'm actually going to be able to get to uh, uh, 9,000 jewels for one ceiling, and then I'll have another 30,000 jewels for the second ceiling, and I'm probably going to be able to get you know go two ceilings just with this. And like 500 of these suckers on this side, <laughs> um, which means that you know, if I'm willing to use this, I could pull a couple here, um, but I don't really see the the point of that because, as I just explained, uh, I don't actually uh, need these cards. Uh, instead, uh, they're going to give you uh, new options. So uh, that's my uh, recommendation uh, and the way you want to think about this. So the way you want to think about this is, you know, you want to go here, go support cards, and you do, you know, what kind of support cards you're going to get. Uh, so let's just reset this. So you're going to get a friend card. So I'm, I'm going to assume, so let's just, just use a friend card here. Um, yeah, where's a friend? All right. So. I'll use Tazana-san here. So this is a friend card that you're going to get. You're going to get that uh, powerful... I mean, the Guts card is going to be really, really good, uh, from what I can tell, uh, because they gave us all the stats on that. So, you know, here's the really good Guts card. <laughs> and then you got two speed cards. Um, even if you just started the game, if you play it enough, uh, everybody is going to have a chance to actually get Kitasan Black now. Uh, Kitasan Black is going to be available to be exchanged uh, from the third uh, anniversary onwards. So uh, you, you can have Kitasan Black. Uh, if you had pull for a Duramente, uh, you would probably have Duramente. Uh, if you didn't pull for Duramente, there's going to be actually a uh, new speed card that's going to be available for everybody. Uh, it's Gentle Donna, and Gentle Donna, from what I understand, is actually very good. So let's say that you know that's like this Gentle Donna. That's let's assume that that's Gentle Donna. So you'll have two speed cards. You have one guts card that you're gonna pull. You're gonna have a friend card, and you need an intelligence card. And if you've been playing for a while, most people probably already have Major Lamone. Uh, 
this card here. Um, that's that's great for the mile. Um, if you happen to pull for the Duramente uh, card, uh, you might have uh, Satoru Diamond as your uh, uh, speed uh, as your intelligence card. Uh, Satoru Diamond is going to be wonderful if you have a uh, betweener, and if you happen to have pulled for Mejuru McQueen, you would have this. I didn't pull for Mejuru McQueen, but you know, I did the you know the, the temple. Uh, from that and I got measured of McQueen, so I have this um, But uh, remember that you're gonna get an exchange ticket if you do the missions, so you get one exchange ticket um, And you can actually buy two more exchange cards So I'll actually have three bumped up here and then they're gonna do this like weird thing where you actually set up like 10 support cards and then you can actually do like a, a series of pulls with uh, with a uh, with paid jewels, and that will actually give you one support card guaranteed that you have chosen. So if I do that, I can actually get McQueen fully up to level 50 with that. And McQueen is probably the best card you want to use if you have a, uh, a leader. And if you have a runner, you probably want to use uh, this card here. Uh, this is an old card. I happen to have one from like a long time ago. Um, I generally tend to work with uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, betweeners and leaders uh, and chasers. Uh, I don't use runners that often, so this has basically been sitting on the back burner. But if you know that you like runners, you can use this card. And if you can't decide on which card you want to use, then I would highly recommend that you just go with Measure the Lamone because if it's the mile, uh, Measure the Lamone skills basically will apply to every type. It, it, it'll be effective for runners, leaders, betweeners, and chasers. So, you know, you basically use the exchange ticket to get one Measure the Lamone, um, and, uh, you know, uh, you might, uh, uh, you know, uh, get her up to uh, level 50. Now, if you don't have uh, this, then that's the only time that I think that you may want to, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, pull the current gotcha because you don't have an intelligence card. But uh, I suspect at this point people have an intelligence card and if it's a mile, um, where, where does she go? Uh, most recently we should have, you should have gotten this mile, uh, this uh, intelligence card. Uh, this one here, North Flight, uh, and this North Flight intelligence card is actually uh, pretty good as a uh, welfare card, um, and you know this will be effective for runners and leaders. So you know th this this would work, um, and so that means that you only need one card to give you that acceleration skill. So if you are a uh, going to rue a leader, uh, then you want to get that acceleration skill from. Uh, uh, Gold City or from Daiwa Scarlet, uh, powered uh, Daiwa Scarlet. Um, and if you're a, uh, uh, doing a betweener, uh, you can get it from uh, Intelligence, uh, Nice Nature, or from Guts, uh, uh, Winning Ticket. Uh, either will work. Uh, both of those are old, so I don't really recommend like you know pulling for those because those are old cards. Um, and uh, if you are a chaser, then I think you can actually get the uh, Sweep Tosho uh, intelligence card. Uh, and, uh, you know, with two intelligence cards, you can definitely get to 1200 easy. Um, and if you are a runner, then, you know, uh, you would use... Th then your intelligence is going to be kind of low if you just use this card. But if you have Lamone, then you'll hit 1200 easy. You hit 1200 easy right now, as is. Um, and you can borrow, I don't know, like Tap Dance City or something like that uh, to give you acceleration. Um, so the options, even for people who are just starting out, is actually going to be pretty good. Uh, there's plenty of time before the April uh, Champions meeting so that you should be able to get Kitasan Black, even if you're just starting out. And if you're just starting out with the third anniversary, you can get the uh, new Durham, uh, new uh, Gentle Donna card, um, and uh, hopefully you'll have uh, this card. If you don't have this card, then what you can do is you can actually use uh, 
Gotta go. <laughs> uh... Oh, I know why. Uh... Well, if you're doing a runner, you could use this card. Although this card is very weak, so I don't really recommend it. But you can use um, many of these uh, uh, intelligence cards. Uh... Oh, I know why, <laughs> but I was looking. I need to look at here. Um, where is it? Uh, for SR cards, if you happen to have uh, uh, this card, this card is actually quite good. Um, uh, Tech Shuttle gives you like great skills. So this is an SR card, but it's going to actually be uh, quite useful if you have a runner or a uh, if you want to do a runner or a leader, um, and if you want to go with someone is a betweener or a uh, chaser you can also use uh, intelligence cards from uh, the SR uh, side uh, this will, this is these also have good skills too but you know uh, where, where's a good like uh, there marvelous sunday uh, is actually pretty good so so you can actually use marvelous sunday um, and Majora Dober is okay, but Majora Dober, uh, this intelligence card doesn't have, uh, might not be as good. <laughs> uh, but there you go, right? So th there are options out there. So I think that there is actually no real reason you need to pull this gotcha. I mean, unless you have like, you know, gobs and gobs of jewels or you have gobs and gobs of money and therefore you can actually spend the jewels. Uh, you don't necessarily have to. Um, so, uh, there's my two cents for you. Uh, acceleration cards basically are these two cards, and also this card is an acceleration card, and this card is an acceleration card. But this card is an acceleration card for uh, long distance, uh, for betweeners, and long distance is not going to be for a while. Uh, basically, for the next four months, it's going to be a mile, and my guess is it's going to be mid-distance. Uh, the new uh, story is basically the Triple Tiara story of uh, Special Week's daughter uh, and other, you know, uh, you know uh, 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 mares, so female horses. So uh, they're going to do the Triple Tiara, and if it's the Triple Tiara, then the first one is the Okasho, which is the 1600 uh, mile in Hanshin Racetrack, which is what we're getting in April. Uh, and the next one is the Oaks, which is going to be Tokyo 2400. It's, it's basically the same as the Derby, but it's for, you know, uh, mayors. Um, and then in uh, uh, August, they might actually do uh, uh, a sprint, is my guess. Uh, and then in October, they'll probably do uh, the Shukasho, which is, uh, I think, Kyoto, but it's 2,000 meters. Uh, so mid-distance once again. Uh, and we'll go back to the current scenario that we're, the, the, the scenario that's going to be available, not not Lark, but they're going to do the scenario, You'll probably, we'll probably do the scenario uh, that we're going to get tomorrow. Uh, that seems to be what the devs are saying. Like, you know, they're going to give new scenarios every four months, but uh, the idea is that the scenarios are going to be uh, specialized to distances. So uh, first we're going to get the mile and mid-distance scenario. Uh, then we'll probably get like the sprint scenario or maybe the long scenario. And then the third one will be either will be either the long or the sprint, right? Uh, and then you know for the next year, the characters that you're gonna, we're going to be able to make is basically going to be similar kind of power, and it's just only going to depend on which distance you want to run. Uh, and you'll sit around with that. Um, so uh, I'm hoping that if they do it with this manner, then uh, we actually don't need to get like a whole bunch of like friend cards. It would be kind of annoying. I hope that we can continue to use uh, the friend that we're going to get uh, starting tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I've uh, you know, rambled on long enough, uh, but uh, this is one way you can actually figure out whether you need to actually pull, uh, and that is by actually, uh, you know, think about the cars that you're going to use. So, friend card, the Duramente card, the card you can borrow. Uh, in my case, if it's a betweener, uh, well, if it's a betweener, it's going to be Satono Diamond. If it's a chaser or a runner, it's going to be Mejra Lamon. Uh, where are you? 
And if it's a leader, I'm going to actually uh, complete this card and I will use Major the McQueen. Uh, and the two speed cards, in my case, I have uh, El Condor Pasa, so I'm going to use El Condor Pasa. And uh, I will probably uh, use uh, uh, Duramente. Uh, but if it's a runner, I'd use uh, Marazensky. <laughs> um, if I had, like, I don't know, I might actually also use uh, Jungle Pocket uh, if I'm doing a Chaser or a Betweener. Uh, I might do Jungle Pocket, uh, this one here, because uh, the skills are actually, uh, I, I can get this, uh, but I can get that from... I can get this skill from uh, Satana Diamond's uh, intelligence card, so maybe I don't need to. <laughs> but if I'm doing a chaser, uh, I can't use the gold skill, but I can use... Uh... Wait. Oh no, I'm thinking of the different card. So, yeah, but if it's a chaser, it's going to make more sense to use Duramante, because Duramante is going to have the chaser skills. Yeah, I mean there is actually a speed card that's you know tailored specifically to uh, 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 betweeners, uh, and that's either this Rob Roy, which you know is not that strong, especially since in my case it's not full, uh, fully operational. Uh, but uh, for chaser, uh, for betweeners. Too many. <laughs> uh, I could use this, and if it's a leader, I might use this, right? And if it's a whoops, and if it's a runner, you know, I'll definitely use this. Right? If it's the only good runner, maybe I'll use Duramente instead. But uh, basically, we're getting to the stage where they have actually given us cards that are specialized for the type. So runner, leader, betweener, chaser. <laughs> um, so there you go. Right? Uh, I personally think uh, L is stronger, but you know, you could also switch it out with this, this card too. Uh, because from what I understand, uh, uh, the friend card and the new guts card is going to have race bonus of 10, so it might mean that we might want to have high race bonus. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I mean, these are all speculations at this point, but you can actually, you know, test out what kind of deck that you're going to make uh, for the mile, and then you work with that. Uh, and then after the four months are over, bang, we're moving on to the next scenario. Uh, so. Two championship meetings only. Um, it's probably going to be mile and uh, mid distance 2400 because we're doing the triple tier hour story. So there you go. All right. Take it easy, guys. Bye bye.